little backyard brawl. Wow, talk about brawl. I mean, this game was kind of one in the trenches. It was like, who is going to play? Who's not going to lose this game is what it came down to. And Phil Djokovic said, let me lose this game. (laughs) He said, I'm going to lose this game. Both of us had West Virginia in this game. Um, And, you know, my one regret I talked about earlier being that I did not actually put any action on West Virginia for Dawson's Diner. But, yeah, I mean, these are two teams that just kind of slugged it out, man. And uh, it actually was an entertaining game to watch just because, like, it just felt like it was just really bruisery, like just nitty-gritty, just backyard football it was awesome i actually enjoyed watching this game i'm sure a lot of people disagree with that statement right there but uh look west virginia's two and one right now what (laughs) what (laughs) and uh neil brown lives to see another day i can't believe that and the thing is is real quick not to not to to rain on the parade of any west virginia fans and you should be celebrating you won a rivalry game you're two and one right for the first time Right, and, and maybe you didn't think you were gonna be two and one, but it we, it could really just be that Pittsburgh is terrible, and right now they are playing bad football offensively, bad football. And, and I'm happy West Virginia won because right last year and maybe the year before that they, they lose games like these or they should have won, and they're playing a team that's not playing good football at all. But you got to win at home by eleven points. That's pretty awesome. You got a part five yeah. football team. I did say in the preview, like, this is me. This is a reenaction of what I said. Do you think they're going to take out Phil Dracovich, right? What they're going to do is they're going to put the best guy in the game, right? It's going to give him the best chance to win this football game, right? And that guy is Phil Dracovich. I am here to tell you, what is that? Four days later? that my opinion has changed drastically that it feels like that these bad games are compiling and it's not just, Oh, they made plays or, Oh, that was an off day for Phil Dracovic. Oh, he's just settling into the offense. Uh, I, I think there might be a real problem there. This West Virginia secondary is awful. It is terrible. Now shout out Beanie Bishop, right? Getting another interception. Big time moments, but this secondary is horrendous. It is a bad West Virginia secondary. You threw 81 yards. Oh my gosh. Pit fans, like, let's hear it, man. Sound off, man. Like, I get it, dude. This blows. This blows. You should not be one losing to West Virginia in this game, in this setting, I don't think. Um, uh, with this West Virginia team playing. But uh man. Man, dude. I mean, I mean, shout out West Virginia. The game plan was, uh, we're not, we're just not going to throw the football because we don't want to make the mistakes to lose the game. Shout out, shout out Neil Brown for making those adjustments. Just deciding, yeah, we're not going to throw the ball. We're not going to throw the ball at all. Uh, yeah, goodness, man, Phil Djokovic, man, that was, that was abysmal. That was, that was abysmal. So Pitt fans. I understand now. I finally get it. When you say, yeah, Phil Djokovic, I've seen enough. This is not the guy. This is not our guy. So I get it. So I don't know. Who who do you guys send in next? Christian Velo? Is that how you say his name? I don't know. Maybe he's a guy. I have zero clue. I have no idea, man. I, I don't know what's wrong. Rodney Hammond isn't even getting his either. Oh, it feels like there's a lot going on with this pit team. And uh, I think a lot of people were high on this pit team. Oh, look, they actually got a quarterback now. Yikes, dude. Yikes. This offensive line's not playing great. This wide receiving core, I think, actually has upside. They're just not getting utilized at all because they, they can't get utilized. So, but again, shout out West Virginia. Like, making the call, we're not going to throw the ball. We're just going to hand the ball off to C.J. Donaldson 20 sometimes. Anderson for – CJ Anderson, what, he got 18 carries. Donaldson got 18 carries. Anderson got 19 carries. Just run the ball and and find a way to win the game. And, yeah, honestly, like, 
much. You could look at the outcome of this game and you could look at those total yards and say, okay, well, West Virginia is not a very good team, but uh, I think Neil Brown outcoached Pat Narduzzi this game. And he did. So for sure. credit, credit to West Virginia. Credit Neil Brown for saving his job one more week. I'm gonna I wanna pat myself on the back here. Back in the summer when I took CJ Donaldson in our you know running back fantasy draft per conference. I got one comp I got one player to pick, one running back in the Big 12 to pick. Um and I took CJ Donaldson and it was exactly like this is what I envisioned is they didn't want to throw the ball at all. They lean into the, the strength of their team, their offensive line. And Donaldson's a good physical runner. He he was actually really good. He had one mistake with the penalty on the touchdown. You know, who cares? He was an excited player. Um, he was awesome. And Anderson had some nice plays as well behind him. So yeah, something's wrong with this pit offense. And that defense is gonna start getting frustrated because of the lack of support they're getting among the offensive side of the ball. That one interception in the end of the first half. Oh my w- God. was horrible. And and yeah. we've been a Phil Jerkovich defender because of the level of difficulty he's had at Boston College. A, a mild defender. So many I'll say a mild defender. Yes. But we were both excited when he yeah. came back. Because everyone the was. Yeah, and and that terrible. And they go North Carolina, they gotta go to Virginia Tech, Louisville. At Wake Forest, I mean they they're circling right now. You're circling Boston College in Week Twelve. Yeah. That's your that's your game. You gotta win. I mean, you could go you could go three and nine this year. That's not out of the realm of possibilities. And just for shits and gigs, you throw Notre Dame there in the middle of the season as an on conference game. West Virginia, on the other hand, is in a Big Twelve that other than Texas, will you avoid? I mean, Oklahoma at Oklahoma, fine, loss, whatever. A lot of other very winnable games. Now, yes, at Houston, winnable game on the road. UCF, tough game. BYU obviously played well this past weekend. But it's nice to see Neil Brown do what it takes to win. And and to see that game plan executed to to what they, the standard what they needed. This game, I mean, yes, it was ugly to watch, but I loved watching it. I, I thought it was a very fun, entertaining game for a football fan, for diehards like you and we, you and we are, you know. Um, yeah, 60 yards passing, and he went by 11. I mean, that's awesome. Now, did, did, uh, Garrett Green got hurt, obviously, so I'm sure that, that changed a little bit of the dynamic of what your your maybe your game plan was going to be. But Marcucci, Mar- is it Marcioli, Marcioli, Mar- Marcucci, whatever. Nico, he actually played pretty well in terms of number one, six for nine, six yards in touchdown. Didn't make any big mistakes. Um, leaned into that run game, you know, did enough to win. And it's awesome. Neil Brown, go Neil Brown. The fighting Mountaineers over there in West Virginia. 